All right, what's up guys? So we're doing Joy to the World. We're gonna do with no capo in the key of G. And the first thing to do is to play the melody. So we're just gonna walk through the whole melody, bit by bit. It's a song that repeats, so every verse has got the same melody as the previous verse. So it's first to Joy to the World. It's very helpful to know your G major scale because that's basically what it is. G. You could go to a D chord there. A D over F sharp. I sometimes just put two notes in for the bass. Start on the D. D, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G. And the chords there are C, D, G. So the whole first part is You could end on an E minor there, it sounds pretty cool sometimes. So that melody goes... With a G chord. Of his love. So the first one is G. Second one is D. E minor, wonder, G, and then an octave higher. So it's E minor, C, G. Sorry. Yeah, that's the shape. So that's a B note with a G chord and an A with a D chord. And then in on G. That's it. And then that just repeats. Let's go slowly through the whole thing. I'll just play really slowly. Down with a scale. Okay, once you've done it with the basic bass note, so just one. Then you add another one, just another pulse 
with the thumb going and you don't have to do it each time you could do it maybe at the beginning not So where the melody is very busy, I tend to leave the bass, and where the melody is very empty, I tend to add more bass notes. So it's just the thumb just going down, just saying, here's a little more information about the chord that is behind the melody. Okay, so here's some more information about the chord that you, your ear is wanting to hear. And that's all the, the thumb is doing. That's the theory behind it. And the main thing is the melody, and the bass notes should be when the chord changes are. Okay. Have a nice day, guys. Happy Merry Christmas.